非常导师》由全新二零一七 Corolla 特约赞助播出。纽约是个擅长把各种元素融合的城市，而在我看来，最好的体现就是在食物上了。和我在节目上曾经几次交手的厨师 Jason Chen 就是一个能把混搭，也就是 fusion 发挥到极致的高手。今天我就要向他请教如何在食物上创造出有个人特色的 fusion 风格。我们有一些华人。非常受欢迎的节目做了时间也很长，叫《亚洲色香味》，已经做到第七季了。那这个节目呢，基本上就是我和我的另外一个搭档，我们在纽约里面找最好吃的中国的食物。一开始我喜欢做东西吃，然后呃想做节目的时候，其实我爸妈也并不是很了解，我爸爸甚至很反对，他当时就说：“你怎么跑去纽约，跑去美国当厨师去了？”然后我觉得正是因为他这一句话给了我很大的鼓舞，因为我就想说，不是一个轻轻、轻轻的一个“厨师”两个字可以去概括我们现在所做的东西，或者任何一个厨师在做的东西。来到纽约吃饭就知道有这个 fusion 这个概念，然后一直以来我对 fusion 这个概念就很、很迷惑。有，因为我觉得我很自豪于我是一个中国人，我可以把中国的很多东西带到我自己的节目或者是我自己做的吃的东西里面。但是如何把它更好的融合进去，能够让人家吃起来觉得是有美感，同时又对你的这个东西感兴趣。I'm Jason Chan, Director of Pastry Operations at the International Culinary Center. I've always loved to bake. That was something I grew up doing. It was a hobby of mine on the side. And I was raised in a traditional Chinese American family where I was going to get a professional job. So architecture was something I also enjoyed a lot and thought I would do. So that's why I pursued it and got a degree and worked for a bit as an architect. Going back to baking and pastry、uh, was something that I just took a leap of faith in. Something I just had to do and want to try as a profession. And luckily, it worked out really well for me. I think it's really important to you know, like any other craft field.、Um, Practice your craft at home. Do research, read cookbooks, read about great chefs and what they've done, and then decide if culinary school is the path that you want to go. It's going to give you a great foundation and give you a great perspective of the culinary craft, whichever direction you're going in. And then work. Every chef you work for will become a teacher to you. What is good fusion or what is bad fusion? I mean, I think. First of all, no matter what dish you're creating,、yeah. it should taste great at the end、yes. of the day. So I think the best and most successful fusion type dishes are the ones that really take the best of cultures and meld them together so they seem seamless and they both kind of highlight、um, the best of both two different worlds coming together. We're gonna make something fun and interesting—a、okay. classic French, but with a bit of an Asian twist. Okay. Traditionally, you put cherries in it.、Uh, I like the contrast of the cherries. Uh, so these are just some poached sour cherries. I love it because when you have some buttery stuff, you always like something sour. Yes, exactly. It's always my career goal that I want to be a food show host and cooking show、mm -hmm. host. Do you think that if I want to be a good one, do I need to get professionally trained? It does help, I think, to have some food background. It doesn't、yeah. need to be extensive, but having that background will help you move much further into knowing. Uh, this world of food and cooking. Gâteau basque is a classic French cake that I find it's a great canvas. Preparing the gâteau basque with the black sesame kind of came naturally. I wanted to highlight the black sesame, and I know that the gâteau basque could be used in so many、uh, ways. And incorporating that was just a very seamless fusion for me. Food has some kind of connection with your life and experience. I feel like this is something similar to what I tasted when I was a child, and it was quite amazing because this is the first time I ever tasted. That's great. I'm glad. And like I said, a lot of food evokes memories, and I think that's an important thing. I mean, that's why we have so many holidays around food. Exactly.、Uh, because there's such a connection of, of a sense of place and being with food. So I'm glad. I'm happy that you know this is evoking that kind of.、Um, Those memories and ideas, because you know you want people to be happy while they eat your food. Yes, I'm very happy right now. From the career path, unforeseen choices, to eating fast food and becoming a famous chef, Jason taught me to break out of my own zone, to make the most traditional and unforeseen things come to life. If you're going to eat too fast, be brave and add a little bit.